Many of you are familiar with Aero Precision Firearms. I have seen them and heard about them for years. Just never had my hands on one until now. What I got was their 10 and a half inch 5.56 Atlas S1 upper to review. And I gotta say, first thing when I took it out of the box and got this on my lower was just aesthetically, it's very pleasing to the eye. And then in your hands, it's really comfortable. Only real question is, how does it shoot? Let's find out. Nice. That's what I wanted. Five for five. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So I put this upper on my registered ATF, SBR lower, yes, it's all legal, got the tax stamp and everything, so I could really have some fun with this. I was also working on multiple reviews at the same time with different optics, laser lights, offset, red dots, you name it, furniture. So I've got clips of this throughout a whole section of reviews. Now, the first optic I was testing was an AT3 Tactical LEOS with a green laser. Check this out. Okay, getting some pretty pretty good groups. Zero on this end. I'm, I'm really happy with what we're getting. Let's just take a look. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, so this was the first shot on paper. I made some adjustment to the right. I got a three shot group after that, seizing the barrel, three shots, clean, seizing the barrel, came up here, had three shots, clean, no, oh, then I did three more shots, clean, seizing the barrel, made adjustment, and I just got my last three shots. That's nice. I'm going to do one click up and one click left. So far, though, at 50 yards with that red dot, really, really happy. Okay, so I made that one click up and one click left. Got a pretty wide pattern actually on that one. But you know, considering I got a two MOA dot here at 50 yards and the dot is taking up almost this much in the reticle, I'm pretty happy with those groups. And I'm really surprised that I'm actually getting these really tight groups with a 50 grain bullet with that short a barrel. And that twist. Now, if you've ever shot a 10 inch 556, five, you know it's really loud, but I wanted to zero it with just what came with it the standard, you know, A2 birdcage flash suppressor. And I'm going to put my adapter on there so I can get my can on it. And that's going to help when we start banging on steel out at a distance. We're not going to have that echo. So hopefully we'll be able to hear a lot better if we're hitting the steel at a distance. Hey, and before I forget, special thanks to Remington for providing the ammo for this review. Was really kind of anxious to try this, had never tried this particular ammo before. Okay, so we're back in the CQB range and I'm gonna test the LEOS. What I wanna do is I'm gonna test the green laser, okay? And I'm gonna just hold from the chest and use the laser and transition from target to target. I've got Oh, uh, you know, 10 yards out to 60 yards back in here. I'll also use the red dot. Now, I actually, from shooting that really close one, because these are 50 grain, actually got just a little bit of copper there on my arm. Guys, this is why you always wear safety glasses. I think I'm not going to shoot that really close one. I'm going to go to the farther ones. Let's just try 
out here again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's without aiming. That's just holding it here using the green laser. That's sweet. That's what you call smoking hot. Yeah, baby. Okay, so the arrow performed flawless back here with a can. It is warm, okay? That was 30 rounds, and it's not hot. It's not hot to the touch, but it is warm. Um, you know, if you were doing big mag dumps, you know, you may need a glove or a vertical grip, maybe a full length one, you know, if it's not a pistol or you have your SBR. Okay, let's just give this a go at 100 yards. When I'm looking down, it's kind of like what I was talking about back in the CQB range. I can see the red dot, but down there at 100 yards with that white steel, it's not the easiest to see. Let's try 200. Now, honestly, I'd be able to hit that steel, I think, a little bit better with a brighter dot. Now, next, I wanted to test something with you know, a little bit of magnification. So, I used Athlon's Argos BTR Gen 2, the 1 to 8. Let's see what we can get for groups with this at 100 yards. Okay, so I got it sighted in at 50 yards real quick. I just want to check and see what kind of accuracy and groups we're getting at 100 and then we're going to try the red dot off to the side. Okay, so that's using the Hornady Frontier hollow point boat tail match. The 55 grain, <laughs> I'd love to say that that was uh, after making an adjustment, but that must have been a flinch. The group was up here. This is using Wolf Gold. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty typical. I did two clicks to the right. Let's see how that does. Not bad. About what you would expect with a 10 and a half inch barrel. Now, I recently did a review on a prismatic optic from AT3 Tactical to 3XP, and I really like this. I had some fantastic luck with this on a Springfield Saint Edge with 16-inch barrel out to 500 yards. I just wanted to put this on, and, and that's actually what I've got on here now, and see what we can do with that. Let's go two. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. That one was my bad. 
just want to try this again at 200. Nice. That's what I wanted. Five for five. Okay, well, I've got no wind here. I just want to try up there at 400. Let's see how this works. Quick, what I'm seeing here when I'm doing the video editing, it really made me wonder if I was hitting it in that 50 grain bullet. It's just small enough and light enough at that distance you're not hearing it. You notice with the shots, there is a spike here at the exact same distance on every one of these. And if we play that, I think it's I think it's a hit. <sighs> There's that slap sound right there. Problem is it's not a ding, so it makes it really hard to tell. Anyway, you decide what you think. I'm gonna jump back to 300 here. All right, that's pretty good. I think we're losing some of our speed with the short barrel. I had to actually, on those last couple shots, go up just a little bit. Let's. Uh... Okay, so I've got a three power prismatic optic on here. And actually, at 50 yards, that actually works pretty good. If I am closer though, or I just want really fast target acquisition, I've got an Athlon red dot mounted on here offset. Let's just see how well that works. Nice. I like the offset. A lot of the prismatics and stuff, you can do the red dot up on top. I don't like that. It just, it's too high for me. I, this just feels a lot more natural going sideways let's see if it's on at 100 i mean if it's on at 50 and it's on at 100 we know we're going to be spot on back in the trees at 10 20 and 30 yards okay i really do like this athlon offset um you know i kind of had some issues getting it mounted on a lot of the pistol bases that i have one thing that I really like, and if I haven't already mentioned this, it has the motion activated, which basically means it's always on. Anytime I'm moving, boom, there it is. I like it. Let's see what we can do with it at 100. Nice. First one was a flinch. Quick, quick target acquisition. Nice red dot i love it and i love it and the cost i think is about the best that i could find thus far that has those features the automatic on off is robust and survived the torture test now i also used the arrow to test and review my crimson trace ct cmr 301 i had some serious fun with that at night check this out There we got it. 
There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. It really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, guys, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.